Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the American Sports Connection. I'm your host, the one and only Joey Railroads. Before I bring in my special guest for this evening, don't forget to check out our social media stuff. You can find it at facebook.com slash American Sports Connection or on Twitter at ASC Pods. Uh, Instagram's at American Sports Connection. You can find all of our previous episodes on B Plus Player Radio. Best way to do that is on Twitter and find them at B Plus Radio. Now, uh, my special guest for the season, you may know him, is uh, he has his hands in a lot of different things with Battle Club Pro, Innovative Pro, uh, Wrestlers Lab, just to name a few. Uh, Mr. Joe Kim Morales. Joe Kim, how are you doing this evening? How are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm doing well. Trying to stay cool because, you know, this weird weather we've been having lately. <laughs> yeah, it was really hot today. Yeah, and I think it's supposed to be worse, uh, I think, for Sunday and Monday. So I'll probably be chilling in the house for Father's Day. <laughs> that's, that's good, man. You should, uh, you know, enjoy the day with your, with your kid. Yeah, he, he you you'll get a kick out of this. He says, "Oh, he says uh, the Incredibles two is coming out this weekend." He's a, can't you take me for Father's Day? I said, "Wait a minute." I said, "I thought I'm the one that chooses, not you." Yeah, he's supposed to be taking you out. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> I know, but um, speaking of uh, all your ventures, you have a big show coming up this weekend. Uh, this coming weekend with battle club pro up in uh connecticut i believe yes stafford springs connecticut first time we're going up uh north for a show which is going to be really exciting the venue is beautiful the, the palace theater that, that wanted to bring us in it was just a, a perfect storm of events and i couldn't be more excited uh you know how it is uh game day shows up it's like mother Buck, this is going to be tough, but the moment, you know, that that, that first bell rings, that move, the moment my, my music hits and I see the crowd, it's going to be incredible. Yeah, it's like everything just, like, wastes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like uh, you know, for uh, May the Queen Rain, I, I, it was like a 19-hour day, man. I was up at, like, 4, mm. and, yeah, it was just insanity, but you, you, you saw that. That weekend was incredible. It, it, was, it was a blast, and... and you know, the lack of sleep. I, I mean, I'm no one to complain because, I mean, the workers, they do it 14 times over and more hard and, and harder than I do. So, but like, it just goes away. Like, once it's showtime, there's, no, there's nothing else is important. It's just like, we're here for this and it couldn't be better. I couldn't agree more where it's almost like uh, you have like the blinders on. Yes. And um, you're talking about the Stafford Palace Theater. I saw the picture you put on um, Twitter, on Battle Club's uh, Twitter page of the venue. It looks like a really cool place. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And uh, I what I'm happiest about is the marquee and these absolutely incredible female wrestlers, female superstars, these icons. Uh, their names are on the marquee where they deserve to be. Yeah, I, I like that. That's uh, it's got a really cool like uh, like eighties right feel. Yeah, it's, it's 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 like when you you know you're gonna go to the show you know up the road with dad and and and, and Pedro Morales is headlining like it, it, yeah it's just like it's 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 nostalgia at its best. Oh, absolutely. That's what I was gonna say. It reminded me of like when you would see like Ric Flair, you know, and the Horsemen against you know Dusty and whoever. Right. Right, or something like that. So I was like, that—that's a really cool feel for me. So um, I'm gonna go through the card with you. Uh, it's sitting here in front of me, and uh, get your thoughts on uh, all these eight matches you have. All right, buddy. All right, I'm let's ready see. to go. All right, let's see. We have WWE May Young Classic participant Santana Garrett going one on one with Kylie Ray. Yeah, this is a. Uh... So, you know, Kylie's someone we've recorded for a while. Um, so happy to bring her in. And, and, you know, Santana was, she worked for us back in November against Jordan Grace, the first ever Battle Club Icons champion. 
and that match was great. So it's it's just the clash of two of the most wholesome America's girls. Like they're gonna be you know battling it out. They're like, who who's gonna win the 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 fight of we represent all that is good and holy in 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 pro wrestling. Yeah, um, I like Santana. She. I feel like she's uh, undervalued at, at times, you know. Even though she's been, she was in the Mae Young Classic. People really don't know who she is in, in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's um, <clears throat> the first thing, and it, it, it's not me being like, you know, a, a chauvinistic pig, but like none of her photographs do her justice. She is, in, she's so much better looking in person. It's like you walk into a room and no matter what direction you look in, your eyes gravitate towards you. And you're like, oh my God, Santana Garrick is probably the most gorgeous person I've ever seen. <laughs> it's funny you mention that. That there's one there's one person that sticks out when you say that, and I met I well, I didn't officially meet her, but I've seen her in person, is Paige in WWE. Uh-huh. When um when she was with Del Rio, uh, he wrestled Penta down here last summer. And I said, oh, my God, the camera does not do her justice. Yeah, she's just like, yeah. Like, I was within, like, 100 feet of her, and she's, like, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's the same effect with Santana, man. It's like, if she's out at the merch table, if she's doing an interview, like, almost regardless of what's going on in the ring, you just kind of look over, like, wow, in amazement. Yeah. So they, <laughs> I mean, like, and, and then Kylie Ray is just, like, she's so wholesome. Like I I I pop every time I see the Pikachu gear. It's just like this is this match is gonna you're gonna watch them and be in awe because of what they can do physically, but you're gonna be smiling because you're like, oh my god, they're just everything that's right in the world is in this match. Yeah, I know what you mean where it's um what's the word where wrestling is just supposed to be fun. Right, right, absolutely. It's like it's like you know Power Girl meets Wonder Woman, and you just can't stop smiling because. They're, they're, they're the epitome of all that is good, and they're they're facing each other. So it's a, you know a battle of America's sweethearts. Yeah, there you go. All right, next. This one uh, really interested me when I saw this on the card. Uh, Sue Young going one on one with Harlow O'Hara. Wow. So let's let's talk about the incredible showcase that Harlow O'Hara had at May the Queen Reign. I mean. She upsets Jessica Havoc, upsets Jessica Havoc, and then goes on to eliminate multiple people in the championship gauntlet, and she makes it to the final two. Where she went wrong is she eliminated Sue Young, who was pretty peeved and hit her with the miss to cost her the match. Yeah. But, man, did that, like, just... Build. It was like immediate. It was like that's 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 gonna happen. It's gotta be a match. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. But Harlow was so impressive. Like, I mean, for the whole weekend, like Jessica Havoc is is just worldwide known. She's she's everyone. Everyone knows who she is. Everyone knows she's capable of. And the cheers were back and forth. So I'm sitting there doing commentary. Like, holy shit! Like Harlow is a lot more favored than she thinks. Even It was an upset. There's no denying that. But it's like the crowd had her back. And then the next night, totally different crowd, same building, totally different crowd, though. Death, death match crowd. Crickets when she comes out. But as the match goes on, she gets chanted. It's like she, there's something about her in the Northeast and, 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 and getting over and it, it works. When so, I was gonna, and I was going to say, she kind of beat Jessica Havoc at her own game in the – the more physical, hardcore type style. Oh, my. and then the the shots. Je- Jessica hit Harlow so hard, yeah. on so many different occasions. It, it, I was like, how how is she still standing? But like you know, Harlow countered power bomb onto two chairs. Like the crowd was like, holy crap! And then you know those the last right DDT. Like it's such an effective maneuver, man. Uh, uh, so I'm so proud of her. Like. She's she's you know she's she's starting to get more bookings. She's going to be working for Nova. Uh, I know you know major companies have reached out. She's going to be doing a, having a limitless debut. She's going to be working with Blackcraft, I believe, uh, towards the end of the year. So things are happening, and it's because she's she's earned it. Like she gets herself over, regardless of what the crowd is. Her work is impeccable. 
her character's again probably the best. It's 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 one of the closest to an original gimmick we've had in a long time. I was going to say that's probably why it works because it's so different that it stands out. Right, it's not quite like a zombie, and she's not quite like a religious figure, like a Mordecai. Like it's she was damned, and her soul is repenting, and now she's. You know, she's basically the, the she's the living rapture, and she's here to, to to destroy sinners or have you repent. So it's like it's different in a, such a good way. And and I I'd be remiss if I I didn't speak for Sue. Sue's, Sue's incredible current Impact Knockout Champion. Like that's that's insane. You know, like Sue is everyone loves her as much as they're terrified of her. Everyone loves her. You know, on the personal level, she's one of the brightest minds in the building and the match she had with Leva Monte, which is my favorite part of the whole night. Yes. That was, that was, uh, I have to give kudos to, to Carlos on that. He was like, you know, we, we, we became aware of uh, on the, in the 11th hour that uh, unfortunately Diamante was hurt and couldn't compete. But you know, the company we are, we're like, don't worry, come out. We're going to take care of you. You, just, you can sell your merch. We'll figure something out. And Carlos was like, she should cosplay as her. So I was like, that's awesome. So when she came out, like, the match is going. And it's like, Leva Monte came out my mouth, and it stuck. And Mika Vila, who came all the way from Georgia to do commentary with me, incredible. She was so good. I felt a chemistry that was impeccable. Like, it was it was like she was the female Mark Adam Haggerty. Like, I felt so at home with her on commentary. She will be back. We will figure out soon when. Um, and it was, just, it was just great. And that match, like, I can't speak enough. Like I'm, I'm going off on tangents here, but like, Leva Bates, like she took that commissioner role and ran with it. Like she did everything. She was everywhere. Like I, I love her. There is nothing I wouldn't do for this person because she, she, she really like tied the show together. Oh, I, agree. She, I call her kind of like the Swiss Army knife of pro wrestling. What? So one hundred percent, like that movie where um, where Harry Potter was a Swiss Army knife. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who she is. She just does everything, and she does it so well. So like all of that, and then like, oh man, just just unexpected. I I, I I'm I'm sitting there watching, it and then she comes out of nowhere, and bam, hits the miss. And it's like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Grace is our champ with Air Jordan. Like it was, it was. Oh man, the, the show! I got so much good feedback. You know, the, the the owners of the building said they've never seen that many people in there, which is great. L- love hearing that. And yo, know, so this match is going to be like here's here's the Rapture versus you know the the, the Apocalypse. <laughs> like like they're, they're about to smash into each other, and it's. It's 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 gonna be a war of biblical proportions. Yeah, well, it's like the exact opposite of Santana and Kylie. Yes. Yeah. I could. You know what? Nail. You know, kudos. Kudos. Slow clap for you. But <laughs> slow clap for you. That was good. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, we have Veda Scott going one on one with Alley Cat. So um, we're gonna have nine debuts at this show, which is what, something I'm so proud of. I'm going to hit that list real quick. So Kylie Ray is one. Alley Cat is another. <clears throat> Davian, Hudson Edby, Nikki Adams, Candy Cartwright, Solo Darling, Gabby Ortiz, and Caitlin Diamond. So this match was, was great. And, you know, when we put it together, it was the first time ever match. But then it, it ended up happening, you know, sometime this past weekend. Whatever, you know, like kudos for for the promotion that put that show on. I'm pretty sure that match was amazing. But Veda, again, like another MVP, worked the double duty. She had the gender reveal match, intergender match before the, sh- the show starts which, for the MVP. Which was a really cool thing. The to coolest, do. again, a million kudos. Carlos is, is, is incredible. He's such a creative genius. Like, I, I feel like we work so well together because if something's there and I haven't picked on it, picked up on it, he will. So it's just like, oh man, it's, it, it's, it's, I don't want to say Pippin and Jordan. It's like Kobe and Jordan. Like, you know, like. You balance each other out. Yeah, yeah. Very yin and yang. So that was awesome. And then she came back and worked the triple threat to try to get into the championship gauntlet. It didn't work out, but everyone has a great time whenever Veda Scott's here. And, you know, you party like Veda. And Alley Cat is, is just tearing it up everywhere she goes. She recently made a with Trip Cassidy. And, 
I just hear no. I can't wait to see that match because I hear nothing but good, good, good feedback. Like she she can go against men, she can go against women, and and she's 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 changing her body up. Like she's such a good worker. I'm so happy to have her on board. So happy to have her on board. Not too fond of who her you know significant other is, but you know. That's a different story. And that, that's I, another story for another day. Yeah, I I, I like J M J F. I do. He's just he's such he's he's the he's the asshole you love to hate but still love. And he'll he'll be debuting for Innovative Pro in, in July, so I'm happy to have him on board. He's just such a you want to smack the shit out of him and then hug him, you know. But whatever, it's got, that's no bearing on Ali. Ali is an incredible talent, and this match is it's gonna be like a party and a brawl all in one. I'll tell you a quick story because you mentioned him. He's going to be wrestling in Canada coming up. I th actually think this weekend. And I, I legitimately put this tweet out. I said, can Canada keep him? I was like, because the U.S. <laughs> doesn't want him. It's a, it's, you know, but he's a necessary evil. We may not want him, but we do need him, man. Yeah, like, there, <laughs> there are not many people off the top of my head that I can name who, who embody who they are in the ring. Like, that's who he is. Who he is out in the ring is who he is outside the ring. I, him, uh, um, Darius Carter is another, like, like totally, all the time, they're always on. Yeah, I was going to say, and not to ramble, he's one person that in this, like, I guess you would say modern era of wrestling can get you, like, legitimately. Oh, yeah, he gets heat. Yeah. He gets legitimate. He hit uh, him and Darius. Uh, uh, man, they they just know. They just know how to crawl under your skin. Oh, and it's not, it's not just crawl under your skin. They sit there and they live and they fester so that the next time you see them, you're already mad. They haven't even engaged you. Yeah, like they're you hear the music and you're just already pissed <laughs> off. Motherfucker. <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on, we have. Two girls that are debuting that you just pointed out. Solo, solo darling, going one on one with Gabby Ortiz. Man, um, this is gonna be like Solo kills it all the time. Like, you know, she was just in the the Casamento Cup for Pro Wrestling Magic. I mean, the the name is great. The look is great. Her physique is is phenomenal. And, and Gabby, you know, she she trains with one of the best who recently signed with ROH, LSG, so, like, you know she can go. So, like, that match is going to be, you know, power versus uh, speed, you know, who's got, who's the better technician, who's got the better skill, like, that That match is going to be really good, and I, I can't wait to see Solo in a battle club ring because, again, someone we've had our, our eyes on for a while. We do our best to, to scout as much, and it's a bit tougher now that, like, we've, we've legit got... So, you know, it's two brands. It's Battle Club Pro, which is the co-ed brand, and it's Battle Club Icons, which is all female. So it's like scouting for both. And then, like, you know, I've got this, uh, this other person uh, in the corner, Innovative Pro. So it's like I'm watching all the time. And, like, she's someone we've, we've had our eyes on for a long time. So it's going to be good. New York native. And, you know, you can't go wrong with someone who's from the hometown. No, it, it, it should be very interesting, to say the least. All right, uh, next we have Tasha Steeles going one-on-one -on -one with Caitlin Demond. Caitlin, Caitlin Diamond. Um, Caitlin reached out. Um, she has years of experience in Canada and decided to make the move to the States. Uh, she reached out, I saw some of her stuff, and I was like, yes, you will definitely be on the next show. And Tasha, like... Tasha came out at May the Queen Reign and immediately was every person from New York, New York's choice to win. Like the pop, the, yep. the swag, like everyone was like, we oh my God. They were all cheering for Tasha and, and she killed it in that triple threat. Like she really did. And and I mean, it's gonna come as no surprise. You're gonna see a whole lot more of Tasha in Battle Club. Because to say I was incredibly impressed is an understatement i'll never i'll never forget she uh you know i do filming on the side with carlos and we filmed fiesta pro 
about a year and change ago, um, maybe even going on two years ago. Uh, so we're in South Jersey, and she comes out, and it's just a different swag about her. And it's like, that's, that's the Bronx. That's that Bronx. That's that Boricua. Like, immediately you can feel it. And then she gets in the ring, and you're like, oh, shit. And she was in the match with Karen Q, I believe. And it's just like, holy hell. Like, so it was, this has just been a long time coming. Again, someone we've had our eyes on for, she killed it and made a queen reign. She's coming back. And here's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, she's a Bronx badass, so she's going to be in the Bronx July 21st. Well, there you go. There's a little spoiler for you. <laughs> All right, next we have Vanity going one-on-one -on -one with Helen Vale. So um, two of the original three icons will be back. Um, Vanity and Catrick were in the first ever Icons match uh, before they were even dubbed Icons. Uh, Triple threat with uh, MJ Jenkins. And that happened at Battle by the Six, October 2016. So Vanity is back, uh, squaring off against someone she knows really well in Ellen Vale. They have that Wrestle Pro connection. It seems to be one of those matches where, like, sparks are going to fly because there's a history there. Um, the, here's. I don't know. This is a maybe maybe it's a bit of inside information though. Like Vanity's kind of peeved that one we've we've, we've taken so long to bring her back, back but two that Catred's on the card and they're not going against each other. Like that's the match she wanted. Um and she says she's gonna do whatever she can to make her presence felt. So I don't know what that's about. Um but we're happy to have her back. Um and that match, uh, you know, similar to the, um, as I said earlier, even though it didn't come to fruition, where, uh, you know, last time it was on, I spoke about Trevor Eon and Damian Bennett. Uh, Bennett had the family emergency, he couldn't come through. But, like, there's a, there, there, you know, there's some there's some smoke there. Where there's smoke, there fire. So, like, that match with Helen and, and Vanity is going to be good, man. And, and Helen, like... And she's everybody's little little wicked monster. So like, she's another one. I mean, she 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 got into it with me on Twitter. Like, she, she wants to she wants people to know who the fuck she is. Like, I, I'm not saying those words are her words exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's something she would say. So I'm I'm interested in that man. Yeah, like like you're kind of uh, paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. No, I think. I'm excited to see it. I think it should be very exciting, those two clashing. Uh, let's see here. Next, we have Hudson Envy going one-on-one -on -one with Devine. You, uh, so again, uh, polar opposites, uh, total, totally opposite of Alley Cat and, and Veda Scott. These, these two women are going to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Hudson Envy is like she wants the pe the world to know she, she she has she wants to kill Suyo like that's the thing she wants to re kill the undead bride like that's her whole like every time she's in the match she wants she she pretends to sue whoever her opponent is and she brutalizes them and for Devine all I have to say is she took on Josh Briggs and it's one of Josh Briggs's favorite match because she hit him. Just as hard as he hit her, and Josh Briggs. Something. Yeah, Josh Briggs is a. I mean, I, 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 I won't shy away from him. I call him a big, beautiful bastard because he is. He's, he's humongous. He's a, he's a good-looking guy, but he's a fucking savage. And for her to go toe to toe with him and to have and to beat his ass to the point where he has no nothing but respect and put it in his top, uh, fit, you know, in top ten matches of all time is incredible. So these two, these two, it's it's gonna be, uh, God, like like a perfect storm kind of thing. Like, you know, the the, the old uh, hardcore bit where they start smashing chairs into each other to see who gives first. That's what these two ladies are gonna do with their fists. I agree with you, and for Briggs to say that is something because there's a good chance that he doesn't like you. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So Briggs, I mean, Briggs likes me though. He'll probably never say it, but he. He likes me. I have, I have evidence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Like that's 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 humongous. Like 
he has the utmost respect because she is a, a she's a beast. She is, you know, and and those two are gonna just they're gonna go at it. Oh man, I, I I'm looking. That's one of the ones that might be a sleeper because fans might not, you know, they might not be too familiar with Devin. They would, but, they will by the end of the yeah match. by the end of this match. Like there definitely shouldn't be a standing ovation. Yeah, I agree with that. And last but certainly not least, we have a triple threat with Catred, Candice Cartwright, and Nikki Adams. Yeah, two uh, two 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 current champions, uh, Nikki Adams, Wow Women's Champion, I believe, uh, if, if my studying is correct. And Candice is she's got some of that shine going. So those two. Uh, those two have championship acumen, and and Katrin, Katrin's a Battle Club OG. Like you said, she was on the first event, um, and then she had a match with Fata Scott at uh, the January. No, she had the uh, at May the villain ring. She had a uh, match with Fata Scott. It was Katrin. So you know, another Bronx native, the Clockwork Angel. Like she's a uh, it's a spirit embodied. By, by the person that was once was Patriots. So she's out there, and she's going to do what it takes. But, I mean, Nikki Adams has gotten gold wherever she's she's gone. You know, she's wrestled for Wrestle Pro constantly. And, you know, Wild Women's Champion. And, and Candice Cartwright is a, is a major name. You know, she's the shine promotion. You know, wherever she goes, she, she does well. She's just she's amazing, you know. This is another one that's like, it's got a nice mix to it, you know. Candice is more of the, hey, look at me. I'm this kind of person. And then Nikki's a little rough, right the edge. And then Katrin's just an entity unto herself. So I, I was going to say, because, you know, these two people that are facing Katrin, they're not, you know, just any, you know, day of the week. Right. You know what right. I mean? Like, they're supremely talented. Right. Yeah. And, and, and again, like, the thing I'm most proud of is the number of debuts. I mean, we got eight matches. We've got nine debuts. We've got two debuts in one match in the triple threat, you know? Like, it's just, you know, we pride ourselves on trying to put the best product out. This is the second Icon show. You know, we chose nine new faces for our debut in Connecticut. We brought back faces that have done really well for us. You know, I mean, Harlow is incredible. Santana is amazing you know so sue sue has killed it and she's you know she, the match again with havoc the match with leva the gauntlet like tasha again the crowd fell in love with her she's gonna be a constant at battle club like it's a really good mix right well i'm i'm sure you know that now with their you know in indie wrestling in 2018 there's so many different promotions you have to kind of find a way to like stand out or do something different or be different you know what i mean i i totally know what you mean and the, yes there is a, a ton of promotions the the key is for all of us is no one promotion is trying to take over you know that's not that's not the way the world works there's yeah. there's more than enough uh fans there's more than enough of a fan base there's more than enough Territory is more than enough money for all of us to thrive and be successful. I agree. Um, we would love to work with everybody. I mean, uh, WWR is going to be in the house. Like that was a, that was news to me. I I came home after a long day and and I see it on Twitter and I'm like, hey, Carl's up and he's like, oh yeah, they want to do something. I forgot to mention it because he, you know he's always working on something, whether it's you know video reels or, or whatever the case may be. So it's like they're going to be scouting our talent live, you know, and um, there's a, a rumor where that Beyond's going to be there. So, like, but this is what we want. You know, last year when when we had the, the Bounty in Kings County, like, Progress was there. You know, um, oh, God, Smash was there. Um, who else? Uh, I'm missing a promotion. You know, if you're listening, forgive me. But, like, you know, there, we want people to come out because, you know, we don't run every month. Like, this is, this is uh, an outlier. We're going to be running May, June, and July, but it's not its not usually what we do. It's just uh, the events fell in the proper places for us to do these things. 
But you know, we, we we pride ourselves on being some you know a promotion that runs every two and a half to maybe every four months. Get a lot of builds, get a lot of steam. You know, try to put the best card together as possible. You know, five to six times a year is, is that's where we live, and we want you know all these all these wonderful women, all the, the the male competitors. We want them to get seen wherever they can. You know, if you want to see them in person, or you want to see them through Title Match, which is one of our sponsors. You know, or just through social media, like. Yes, scout our talent. Like use them, get them bookings. You know, because it will. You never know, who, you know, when those right eyes are, are going to get on you, and, and boom, you're contracted. Which is what we want for everybody. Like, you know, I totally intend on doing this as long as I can. So five years from now, like, I don't want, you know, these women on the. I don't want these women on the card because I want them all contracted. You know, if, you know whether it happens or not. Like, this is what I want. Though. I would love for every single person who's ever worked in the battle club ring to get their contract, whether it's, you know, Japan or, or, or England, you know, WWE, NXT, ROH, you yeah. know, that's, that's what you should want. Like, it's not about, you know, keeping them around. Like, no, you want them to get better and to grow and then to be financially stable. I couldn't agree more. Now, if people want to get tickets uh, before this weekend, where can they get them at? I believe tomorrow's the last day you can buy online, um, but there's always going to be tickets available at the door. And, and the palace, the theater is, is humongous. Um, it's going to hold a ton of people. So we encourage you come out. You know, if you can make the drive, it's a, not you know it's not local. It's about a two hour drive from from New York City from the boroughs. But if you can come out, come out. If you're from the Connecticut area, please join us. You know. There's a, a ton of great shows going on, you know, this Saturday. I mean, WSU is running, Pro Wrestling Magic's running, um, Blitz Creek is running. Like, wrestling is going on, and wherever you choose, to, <laughs> wherever you choose to support independent wrestling, please do so. But you know, we would love to have you come to our show uh, for you know the obvious reasons. But it's uh, aside from the obvious reasons. You know, we believe that we put on a monster stellar card. So come enjoy. Come be part of the family atmosphere. I have I've gotten so many positive words about how, you know, inviting Battle Club is. And I mean, you you've seen it. I'm I'm a hugger. I don't care what yeah. the situation is. Like it, and I, if you support us, we're gonna support you and and we love it, man. And and like I told you, uh your your the the, the gift you got me, that T shirt, man, was great. It's, it came through in a clutch, man, because it's it's so hard to break down the ring in a button-up shirt. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. Um, and then I had another uh, another wrestler tell me last night, because I was at Dojo Wars, he come up and gave me a big hug. He goes, bro, he's like, I wore your shirt in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I said, go, really? Man. He goes, yeah, everybody was looking at me weird. I was like, well, it happens. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. See, I see you're a good guy, man, and we love the support, dude. It meant the world to me that you were there for both shows. Um, oh, we're I gonna, know, yeah. You know, and and then you know, sometime this upcoming week, we're, we'll recap all three of these shows, uh, and then we'll discuss that show in July. So I'm looking forward to speaking to you for at least another hour and change the next time we talk. Absolutely. Um, now, real quick before you go, if people want to check out, uh, well, can't make it to the show, and they want to check out results or gifts from your buddy the gift master oh the gift god uh michael jordan of gift yeah um, i call him the guy. gift master yeah he's uh i mean he'll he'll be there um uh, i knew he would of course uh, he'll be there uh i mean social media facebook instagram twitter uh title match is gonna is always has our stuff you know they always have the stuff for you guys to rent um our youtube channel like it, the content will be there if you can't be there in person, but it's a different animal in person. Like that's oh, why, that's why I do what I can to be at shows live. Because like, yeah, it's one thing to scout a video, but you can't feel the energy in the in the in the venue. You know, you can't see the real reaction from the fans. Like you can hear it, but like there, it's just it's so much better to see it in person. First as a fan, and then second as a scout. Like, I'm yeah. looking to bring this person in. 
when I see how they connect with the crowd, like it's you, you really you really can't gauge that uh, watching it on a screen. You have to be there. No, I agree with you, and I'll tell you this real quick before we get out of here. It's funny you mentioned where you can find all your shows. I, I had clips from uh, um, Jessica Havoc's match from the last Battle Club show, and I put them up on my Twitter, and someone messaged me under there. They're like, oh, my God, where can I watch this at? I want to see this. Yeah, no, dude, like, that match was insane. Um, and I, I'm so happy. Like we encourage that. We're not going to be like, oh, don't use your phones. No, like spread the word, get the eyes out. You know, um, and and, and we're we're thankful and we're happy for for the fans doing that, man. And, and again, we, we love the support. Um, you've been great. You've been great, and you've been a constant. Like you know, you, you know, things have didn't really work out last time I was supposed to be on, but like. Life I'm always happens. down. Yeah, life happens. You know, I'm always down to to, to be on, man. And uh, I just, I can't stress enough how much it means to us when people come out to multiple shows and they show their faces and, and, and we see the enjoyment. You know, it's like, that's why we're here. We're here to put on the best wrestling possible. It started as a mission to put on the best wrestling possible in the Bronx. We did that. And then we moved to Jersey. And then we did Brooklyn. And, you know... We're, we're going to do Connecticut, you know, and who knows, like, I've talked to Carlos many times about maybe the West Coast, maybe overseas. So, like, the support, the more support we get, the more likely it is we'll do, we'll do this stuff. And, and the bigger we can build the brand, the bigger the brand, the more eyes are on it and the more likely someone like Harlow or Sue or uh, McIntosh, Bowens, Dunn, you know, Jordan, the right eyes get on them so that they could get contracts. I couldn't agree with you more. But on that note, we're going to get out of here for tonight. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll see you back next time. Have a good night, everybody.